out, recite me out and revive, and to organize my prayer to logical party. Where that presents the argument using consistent procedures to support the law speech, as they must do. And above all, the writing to be expressed simply, clearly, and agree. Therefore, writers of Christ will inform and inform and as I say, and in process, we will establish readers rather than the present day. This is the first stone of responsible writing. A good writer must avoid a conventional method that aims at deceiving and confusing the readers or the listener. But to report news, social, and adequate to all the legal obligations of not interfering with the rights of others. We should demand food of writing as the pattern of God that is fully understood only by relating it to the time, place, and personality in which to occur. A student writer must go on to become his own teacher, his own teacher, or editor before he could go about the job of writing no matter the nature of the assignment. They have set a noble goal that requires the cooperation of all and as one thing to achieve. I never have so, an opinion that every distinct, every distinct order will continue to fulfill their obligation towards the certain possibility of the time for the sake of prosperity and self-belief. In our care for a development of these children in our care, in the years gone by, with the help of Anna and the cooperation of our international students, teachers and students, and my own members of staff and students, we wish to place on record that we have successfully organized one, the next award ceremony, aimed at identifying and rewarding they have provided functions for both students and teachers to hear and establish both the post-it and the last-minute sections of the college, the building of the school units that will be in the construction of the teachers who provide with the support of the school and staff, but let's not go in as possible and set the communication
accepted before this institution uh, reached him. Now, having said that, I want to say that I will carry back my chairman the total picture of what happened here today. And in fact, I think anybody who misses this occasion has missed a lot. Um, as we say in Yoruba, heroin. Uh, I want to congratulate the principal and the staff on one hand, and you, the parents, on the other hand. I really uh, congratulate you and rejoice with you for having a good portion and the blessing of having your children in this type of school. Government College in Kurudu is extremely lucky and the college that has been very lucky since its inception. Right from its inception, we have, it has, uh, having, uh, sorry, has been having good principles as head of this state. And to have it, we have Mr. Ami Asaji Ayo, who is here today, as the principal of this college. Since he arrived here, many great things have been happening. And that goes again to confirm that seven is a very lucky number any time, any day. Um, I'm not here to sing the praise of the principal, it's evident. He's a great administrator by any standard. And I predict very confidently that very soon, we soon emerge as the best principal of the year. Our principal lifted the ban imposed on the club after a thorough examination of the circumstances that led to the ban with the assurance that the better environment that a better environment will be created. A new life was then given to the club with some satisfied chance to serve as the editorial board. Under this dispensation, the need for the college meeting magazine became inevitable. The objectives of the magazine are stated in earlier. To, one, to create an avenue for the students' expression of themselves on various topics and issues as guaranteed by the constitution of the land. So, to assist students in developing the ability to write so as to always be in control of what he or she is doing. We want to support them until they become their own teacher, own critic, and their own editor. This is in line with the Eric Forum, in, what, uh, in line with what Eric Forum said of the child. He must go until he finally becomes his own father. The third point is to awake, awake their intellectual ability and a sense of creativity. Number four, to make them conscious of their environment. Number five, to inculcate in them ideal moral values. Six, to foster intellectual interaction among the students, teacher, and the school authority in general. Number seven, to create an avenue for the school authority to extend those governmental policies and the mode of expression. Number eight is to infuse in the student a good sense of value of judgment. And number nine is to enable the student to cultivate the sensitivity to good, clear, and unpretentious thoughts. If they have to understand language as a medium of expression and to use it deliberately, this is an acceptable way to shape his or her purpose.
she wishes me to tell you that she really regrets not being here personally to grace this occasion. But she wishes this college and the students a successful launching of their orgasmoscope, which is a journalism par excellence. This is a government that is committed to excellence and she believes that this uh, college will continue to excel both academically, physically and morally and that others group shall reach heights in excellence. Thank you. And God has been here to participate. I apologize to you for not being here this afternoon. You have learned to be among you, but unfortunately,
And of course, it is about 52 pages thick. And we have the following features. We have tablets there. We have articles. We have reports. We have poems. We have research jokes. And we have dialogue. And of course, in between the pages, we have beautiful illustrations. You have pictures, photographs, and of course, photographs again of students, and events that can give you the history of the school. I therefore now have the honor of launching this and dedicating it to the glory of God Almighty to the advancement of knowledge, to the progress of journalism, not only in this country, but throughout the world, and of course, to the benefit of humanity in general. Thank you very much. Uh, my chairman will be communicating to the school through the principal next week. Gentlemen of the press, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you to this press meeting on the program of events lined up for a week long. The 1991 
are born out of ignorance among the culture of other nations. It is believed that the spirit of understanding can be developed through organized visits of young people in the states other than their own, more so as the youth of the day will be the leaders of tomorrow. It is noteworthy to state that the Lord has had in the past years recorded excellent results in this exchange program. The state government has hosted a total of 630 youth from other states of the country and has sent 650 youths to 21 other states of the Federation since 1979. We have already sent out invitation letters for this year to the other 29 states of the Federation and the Federal, the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. During the period of their stay in Lagos, our guests will have the opportunity to know more about the people of Lagos State and some aspects of our culture through guided excursions to tourist and cultural landmarks in the state. They will be given the opportunity of knowing the phenomenal achievements being made in Lagos State. It will also be brought to their notice that though Lagos State is small in land area, it is the economic giant of the nation. We intend to send 45 children and 10 leaders drawn from education institutions, youth clubs, and voluntary youth organizations to the first 10 states of the Federation that may signify their interest in exchange with labor states. The logistics of this is being worked out. Participants from other states would be accommodated at the departure hostel. As they require Labour State's contingents to other states to be provided with allowances and celebration costumes. The mode of transportation to the various states is by road, due men more limited to financial constraints. Insurance program will be obtained for all the other Labour State contingents. Souvenirs will be given to all our guests in Lagos by state gifts depicting the culture of the of the people of the state will be presented to all post states on behalf of the people and government of the other states. Our guest contingents will also visit important places of interest. As usual, the first call will be paid on the executive governor of the state, Sir Michael Nagolade of Tedula, by all the visiting youths during the governor's guiding party.
for arranging the carnival float, insurance cover for all the contingents, both for interstate youth exchange and the National Youth Festival, and lastly, provision of costumes. There will be a symposium on the theme of the festival. Organizers decided to create a forum for competitive sporting activities for primary school children to demonstrate their sporting potentialities and also to provide an avenue whereby young talents in sports could be identified for training and grooming for the future. There are two phases of the competition, namely intra-local government and inter-local government competitions in athletics, football, and table tennis. The final of each of these competitions is scheduled to hold at the University of Lagos Sports Ground, Unicorn Stadium, and Popola Johnson Sports Hall, Road Park, Yaba, respectively. Five, Youth Carnival and Bonfire. The Lagos State Youth Council, which is the apex body of all voluntary youth organizations in the state, in conjunction with the Ministry of Information, Youth, Sports and Culture, is organizing the 1993 Youth Carnival and Bonfire Parade on Saturday, 22nd May 1993, at the playground of the Evans Square, the Pitimenta. The program is designed to all the youth from the 40 member organizations of the Lagos State Youth Council, members of the National Youth Service Corps, and the contingents of youth sponsored by the 15 local governments to come together to share the joy of the 1993 children and youth day celebrations and to highlight various achievements made by young people. The program is designed to create a forum for social interaction, intercultural relationships, learning from the experiences of others and promoting interpersonal relationships among the youths of the state. The Youth Carnival Bonfire is as well designed to create necessary awareness of the youth situation in the country, their needs and aspirations, and to enhance their meaningful contributions to national development efforts. The Youth Carnival will feature a procession of youth organizations around the major streets of Lagos, England, from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Presentation of clothes, dance around parade, cultural and trans uh, traditional dances, youth displays, and the lighting of the campfire will feature during the event. Among the dignitaries expected at the occasion are the Deputy Governor of the State and the Chief Guest of Order, the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, the Honorable Commissioner for Information, Youth, Sports, and Culture. Engineer Aditya Ayamuan Jiloga as the Chief Host, the Honorable Commissioner for Education and the Director General of Information, Youth, Sports and Culture and Education as Special Guests of all Honor. Others are the Oba of Lagos, Oba the Empire of the II, the Oba of Adalbi, and the First Class Oba from each of the remaining 13 local governments in the state as the Royal Fathers. While chairman of all the local governments in the state shall be special guests of the occasion. The chairman of the occasion is Dr. Ademola Kroker, the Olu elect of Odulu Mushin. Six, religious worship. As usual, there shall be both Muslim and Christian religious worship to invite divine presence and providence of God not only our children and youth, but the entire nation. This adult service is protected among places of worship in the local government. This year, the Muslim worship comes up on Friday, 24th May, 1993, at 1 p.m. in the Kurundu Central Mosque, while the Christian worship will take place at the Youth Anglican Church of the Mushi on Sunday, 23rd May, 1993 at 10 a.m. Both activities will feature the attendance of pupils and students drawn from within the local government. Others, chiefs, local government functionaries, and chief executives of ministries and parastatal organizations in the state. 
seven, the youth forum. This event is an innovation in the usual package of events introduced this year by the Ministry of Education. It is designed to give practical demonstration to one of the sub themes of this year's education that is give youth a chance. At the youth forum this year, 400 students and pupils from state public and private schools will engage both the Honorable Commissioners of Education and Information, Culture, Youth and Sports in a question and answer session on any subject that agitates the mind of youth in general. There shall be some 100 other audience at the forum, including local administrators of education, press men, directors of education. The objectives of this program include giving the youth the chance to make public their views on issues bothering them with a view to seeking joint and acceptable solutions. This event is created for 10 a.m. on Tuesday, 25th May 1993 in the state auditorium. Schools debate content. A school debate on topics based on the celebration team is being organized for both primary and secondary schools in the state. The final of the event will come up at the Baptist Academy Hall on 26 May 1993 at 11 a.m. Winners at this event will receive their prizes at the reception marking part of the activities of the Governor's Party, Governor's Garden Party to the children and youth on May 7th. Nine, school children, youth, and voluntary organizations are there. The highest point of the annual event is the children and youth drive, scheduled to take place at the police college ground in Kenya on 27th May 1993 at 9 o'clock in the morning. 60 uh, schools and several uniformed and non uniformed voluntary organizations will take part in a march pass at which the state governor, Sir Michael Abulaga of Telela, will take the salute and afterwards deliver Mr. President's address for the occasion. This event will be attended by members of the State Executive Council top government officials, members of the core diplomatic, others and other important dignitaries. Ten and final events, governors guiding party. The annual guiding party of the state government will climax the children and youth day celebrations in the state. This year, 600 children and youths, including a guest contingents from other states on the youth exchange program will be hosted at the state house in a relaxed atmosphere that permits personal interaction of his excellency, the governor, and his wife with the children and youths. The selection of children for this event takes care of such factors as geographical spread and academic performance and attainment as well as co-curricular activities, including debates and essay competitions organized on this year's day of the celebrations. As was earlier mentioned, prize awards will be made to winners in various contests during the garden party. In general, gift items should also be distributed to every child invited to this show of love and appreciation by the government. The music outfits of the Pacheli School for the Blind will add color to the occasion. The summary of the program detailed out above is being provided for your records. Distinguished gentlemen of the press, you will no doubt agree with me that we have ahead of us a week of vital and existing activities, exciting activities for our children and youth in this state. In consonance with our mandate on the overall welfare of our children and youth in the state, I wish to assure you that on our part, 
in the ministries of education and information, culture, youth and sports. My counterpart and I are leaving no stone unturned in the life of to ensure not only successful celebration for this year, but also all available resources within the state are being harnessed to ensure that our children are provided optimum opportunity to develop positively. On your part as members of the fourth estate of the realm, and partners in progress, it behoves you to give this year's event the widest coverage possible. By so doing, we will give it the desired encouragement and impetus to the growth of the youth in this regard. Your cooperation in this regard is hereby solicited. My colleague, Honorable Commissioner for Information, Culture, Youth and Sports, ably represented by the Director General of the Ministry, the Director General of the Ministry of Education, Directors of Education, distinguished gentlemen of the press, students, ladies and gentlemen, let us together have a wonderful 1993 children and youth day celebrations. Thank you for that attention. Activities 
rules of the commission and four, to explore and advise on other areas of publicity. The membership of the committee, which I am directly informed, consists of personalities from all walks of life, especially in relevant and archive fields, who will be able to contribute their quota to the successful publication from women, which will be of interest to all and sundry. I therefore charge you to hold regular meetings on the subject matter and to address the Commission frequently on publication activities. You should also note that your committee is the image-making body of the Commission and should try its best to live above board. It is perhaps needless to emphasize that you should keep the flag of the Commission flying. Once again, I salute you all present here today for your interest in the overall development of women in this state. I appreciate your concern and commitment to the well-being of women in all stages of life. I hereby formally inaugurate the publication committee of the State Commission for Women. I also wish you fruitful deliberations while looking forward to your useful pieces of advice and publications on women in this state. Thank you and I wish you well to bless you. Television, 